Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support. You know, you being patient, you know, opening yourself up to things that, you know, didn't think it was possible and just positively flow po positivity flowing from you back and forth you know even during your trying times so be just be patient with yourself and be gentle because better days are coming so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you uh been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you're comfortable now please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a family friend or even a fellow um empath please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for the love and support you've given me as well as my channel it is greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today i'm listening to another uh uh, Buddha song is really beautiful. I love anytime I see Buddha on there, it just gives me a sense of calmness, you know, positivity. I don't know what it is about him, but it's just like, well, I know what it is, but it's just like seeing the picture is like, cause I got it on my, um, my big screen and just seeing that is just so beautiful. It's called Reaching Zen State of Mind, Tibet, Tibetan Choir Plus Buddhist Chants zen uh meditation music and it's like uh i'll post the link in the description box below and you get to see him just like that that's on the screen i really love seeing you know buddha you know i got him in my other room i need to go ahead and get me a buddha picture in here as well um and my video today is about twin flame 101 hey is never second guess your gifts or its power because it will elevate you and it will you know a lot of times you know, we've gone through so many trying times, so many negative situations. It makes you second guess yourself. It makes you second guess how much strength and power you truly have behind everything you have been through. And it's just like your your gifts have got you to where you are today. You know, I feel like things have popped off in your life that had to be shaken up for you to be able to acknowledge the things that you know that that you did not really know about yourself and it's crazy you know some people are just like you know i've heard comments that people have put on my my channel oh if you don't if you're you don't know this then you're not one no that's not true because there's a lot of time a lot of us walk around blind and truth and not really sure about the things that are going on because sometimes you know throughout your family it might not be something like a household thing that you want to talk about it's just like you know because like with my family my mom was very intrigued about stuff like that because my mom I think my mom was like an indigo because it was just like she has this beautiful chocolate skin but my mom's eyes were like wolf like wolf blue and it was like really crazy because she had that skin complexion like Wesley Snipes and then you see this woman with these sky blue eyes you don't see that too often so you know my mom was like you know she was an empath and I know she was because there's a lot of things she used to tell me about her dreams and they would come true so you know my mom was very intrigued about stuff like that but you you know it it some people think okay if you're you're gifted like that there has to be a mental illness wrong with you and stuff like that so it's like there was a lot of things that I used to question about myself, you know, and it's the, some people still think I do that. And I'm just like, no, I, you know, I know what I'm doing. If I say this is going on, this, this is what's going on. If this is, you know, I won't say something if I, you know, if I'm iffy, iffy about it, you know, I just tell people, Hey, this is what's going on with me. And this is what universe wants me to bring to you. So I'm just letting you know, just let me know if this is something you resonate with, you know, and it's really good for me to be able to do that because I feel good being able to help people send people validation some kind of comfort confirmation to let you know hey you're not the only one going through this a lot of us empaths are being affected by the shifts there's a lot of us empaths that you know we just thought we were just empaths and next thing you know we find out all these other different gifts that you know has been placed upon us and stuff like that 
And you really don't know how powerful you are until you invest in that, when you embrace it, when you take knowledge of it, you know, you do research about it. Because there's so many other things that comes along with that. Because it's just like I always tell y'all, you know, you if you're an empath, I guarantee you, you probably got five or, other, five or six other things that it adds on to that empath. Because it's like we're all unique. It's just like if we've been placed this mystical gift, I always feel like there's all other gifts attached to it as well. You know, I call it multi-gifted. If, if that is not a word, I'm, it's a word today. <laughs> so I always tell people, I feel like y'all are multi-gifted. You know, there are certain times that, you know, I tell people, open up and tell me what's going on with you, you know, because you might have questions and trying to understand your, your, you know, your road on your journey. Because sometimes we, you know, it's a good thing when you can actually talk to somebody openly. You know, I don't judge anyone. You know, I tell people, oh, you know, this sounds like something that you are. You could be a shaman. You can be a Reiki healer. You can be a white witch. You can be, you know, an indigo. You have a twin flame. You know, you could be a star seed. You could be a rainbow child. All these different things that has been blessed with me. I feel like these are very beautiful. And I really feel like, you know, because sometimes... It can make you feel like, oh gosh, this is a blessing and a curse at the same time. But it's more of a blessing if you can embrace it. Uh, hold on. Sorry about that, y'all. My daughter was talking. I thought she was talking to me. But, you know, we go through all these different things and we should be blessed about the things we're gifted with. You know, if you can understand them, you can embrace it a little bit more. And then taking, you know, whatever research you can find out about it, it can be more of a blessing than a curse. It's just all, you know, how you embrace it, you know, because some people, they fear that. And it's just like if you were gifted with something like that, if this has been placed upon you, Obviously, there's something tremendous you have done many, many, many of your different lives that you have done before that you had to get an impact about this now. So be able to embrace the things that has been placed upon you. Never second guess your gift. Never second guess the power that you have with inside of you. Because I really feel like anytime a person has really been through some hell, you have to be a strong person to still survive that. You might be cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs and your elevator might not be going to the 13th floor and your radio might not be tuned up all the way, but you're a strong person and they didn't give you this, just, they won't give this gift to just anyone. So be able to embrace the things that have placed in your life because you can really do some good into the world as well as for yourself and people around you. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to everybody. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. Share the video. You know, I really love it when y'all share the video. And um, the post notification shout out. Drop me a line. I'll go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. Um, Michelle Olsen, Jurassic Mark, Lewis Johnson, uh, Lufea, Van uh, Noden. I think that's how I pronounce your name. I hope I didn't mess it up. Michelle Groves. Or uh, Michael Groves. Much love to you. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I hope you have a blessed week. And prosperous as well. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.